Oppo just announced its brand new device. This is the Oppo Find X5. Yes, there's no number four because this number is considered as a bad luck in the Chinese culture. With this device, Oppo is consolidating as a very confident brand. The Find X5 Pro is clearly an evolution of the Find X3 Pro, and one with an impressive array of top features, from the cameras and display to the battery and charging speeds. The Find X Pro was launched alongside with a more standard version, of course, with more standard features and a little bit cheaper than this one. With the recent release of closely related phones such as the Oppo Find X5 Pro, the Realme GT2 Pro, and the OnePlus 10 Pro, it has become obvious that the product planning in the BBK Electronics group of brands is more central than we've thought before. The brands have all based their flagship product on one and the same platform, a flagship Corp 120Hz AMOLED screen, a Snapdragon Agent 1 chipset, and an about 5000mAh battery. All carefully mixing those with the hand-picked features from the company's R&D lab. This way, BBK has not one, but four flagship devices. Five, even if we count the Vivo X70 Pro Plus. The Find X5 Pro brings back the design language from the Find X3, including a back made of ceramic that is covering the camera bump, so it feels like just one piece. The phone is slightly heavier than the Find X3 Pro. It has supremely glossy finish and have well-positioned bottoms on the left and right. The fact that Oppo has brought back the same design is the first sign of the brand growing comfortable in its own skin. Chinese brands used to give its phones a complete design change year over year. While this could be fun in some way, it also suggests a lack of brand direction and design philosophy. That's not the case anymore as Chinese brands mature. Oppo, like Xiaomi, is proud of its hardware engineers and designers. And there is now a clear look that runs across phone lines. It's on the back where we can see this is actually a brand new phone because of the ceramic back and the front glass are slightly turning into the frame, you feel very comfortable when holding it. It's not like the iPhone 13 where you have this heavy corner, it's a little bit uncomfortable to use and hold. It feels solid in the hand. The tall and narrow design with curved display sides makes for an ergonomic grip in terms of one hand usage and a back swipe gesture. The green accented wake sleep button is on the right and the individual up and down volume buttons are on the left, all with easy reach. There is nothing on the top and all the additional ports are being placed in the bottom edge. That includes a Type-C port flanked with a loudspeaker and SIM card tray. This phone supports dual physical SIMs as well as eSIM. Both models are IP68 water and dust resistant too. The Oppo Find X Pro comes in black and white. This phone comes with a 6.7 OLED display. It is a second generation LTPO panel, which means it can vary from 1Hz to 120Hz refresh rate. There is not an option to choose a fixed 120Hz refresh now, as Oppo has made its dynamic refresh system kick in automatically depending on what type of content the phone displays. And the only other option you can choose is keeping the screen 60Hz if you absolutely need to save battery. The screen is brilliant with a 1300 nits max brightness and support for HDR10+. It's good looking screen and this phone will likely prove one of the best phones of the year for streaming movies. The display curves at the edges but it's gentle. To take full advantage of its excellent display panel's abilities, the Find X5 Pro employs a multi-brightness color calibration meaning that the screen is a color credible in all lighting conditions. The Find X5 Pro screen is really good in terms of sharpness, color reproduction, viewing angles and vibrancy. And that says a lot because Samsung has already set a very high bar to clear. Another sign that Oppo is a more confident than ever brand is that the camera setup comes with one less lens than the previous Oppo Find X3 Pro. Thankfully, the Find X5 Pro camera is really good, mostly thanks to a new self-developed imaging ship. And its ultra-wide camera is, in my opinion, one of the best in the business. The company is clearly positioning this as a device for prolific smartphone photographers, not the everyday consumer. Just as a sister brand at OnePlus, Oppo has also used the Hasselblad partnership for the camera setup, highlighting the presence of its natural color calibration tech. 
The Swedish camera maker apparently helped Oppo calibrate its imaging color and designing some filters. It seems that the legacy camera company contributed to the software but not the hardware of the phone. The main and ultra-wide cameras both use 50 megapixel sensors. Oppo uses the exact same Sony camera sensor for both of these cameras, so there is more consistency between the two. There is also a Telephoto 2x optical zoom camera that uses 13 megapixels. A new self-developed chip named Mary Silicon X to boost the low-light imaging power of the X5 Pro's camera. The Find X5 Pro has a 32 megapixel selfie camera using Oppo's self-developed RGBW sensor. The Find X5 Pro software does enforce a beauty filter on the skin, although there is certainly one that you can turn on later. The Find X5 Pro main camera produces excellent videos with vivid colors and capable fidelity even in low light. And this is a test of the front-facing camera in daylight. We are here at the beautiful park in Shenzhen. Mary Silicon X is supposed to help the Find X5 Pro significantly in low-light videos. We get right high dynamic range and the ability to shoot 4K videos even in low-light situation and still get detailed colorful videos. And just try the front-facing camera. I try to find a very dark spot. This is like nighttime, a park near my home, but I'm not sure about this night mode for this front-facing camera. Internally, Oppo's latest flagship certainly seems to have the right components to keep the phone feeling quick and responsive. The latest Snapdragon Agent 1 runs the show. Oppo is saying that this chipset will offer 30% better performance and up to 25% more power efficiency. This is a supremely powerful chipset, great for gaming or photo and video editing. The phone uses snapping to navigate and use. For the storage you have two options, 256GB or 512GB. Like every Oppo device, it's running Color iOS on top of Android 12. It's a very colorful interface that allows a lot of customizations for things like app icons, the always on display, and even the fingerprint sensor animations. It's a software that is full of useful shortcuts gestures. For example, grabbing a screen with a three finger swipe down is easier for me than the long press power and volume down button. The battery in the Find X5 is also larger than the previous generation, with 5000mAh battery is a 500mAh up from the previous generation. It is separated in two units in order to charge faster and it can power the phone all day. It can also be charged at super fast 80 watt speeds. The Find X5 Pro can fill up from 0 to 100 in 27 minutes. Samsung should take note, that is flagship level charging and we look forward to using up our phone in no time. It can also use the 50 watts Airbook charger that can juice up the battery from 0 to 100 in only 47 minutes. It also has a 30 watts reverse wireless powering. The charging brick is also included in the box, unlike Samsung and Apple that are not including it in the box. And in another sign of confidence for Oppo, they are not pricing this device lower than the competition. In fact, in Europe, the Find X5 Pro is 1300 euros, which is pricier than both the iPhone 13 Pro and Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. The Find X5 Pro is a phone that really can go toe to toe with brands like Samsung or Apple, and sometimes even surpass them in areas like camera performance, battery life, 5G connectivity, or charging speeds. We'd have to particularly emphasize the ultra-wide camera quality that matches that of the main sensor. The ceramic finish on the back is fancy and should prove more long-lasting than the glass, with a more durable finish and more durable battery, and other optimizations in software. You might have a great phone for a few years rather than just two years. I also really like its refined design and the tremendous ultra-wide camera. Still, if you're on the market for a premium Android with Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, then Oppo Find X5 is a very worthy alternative. Let me know what you think of this device and the advances that Oppo has made as a brand that is now making world-class flagship phones. Leave your comments and remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button so you get notified next time I upload a new video. 
This is Rafael for Tech Me Around. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and see you in the next one.